This is called foiling binomials. So when I'm doing this problem, actually, the way that I'm going to describe this problem is a lot of you guys kind of get mixed up with foiling. So what I, the other way I'll do this is um, I'll show this the box method, because that's another uh, common technique to show how to foil or to multiply two binomials. If you guys can think of these as, you know, um, this is one term times another term. And the same thing like finding the area. If we could say like this is the length and this is the width. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a box. And for that box, I'll have this be the length, so 1 plus i. And then here I'll have 3 minus 2i. And the box is really helpful to, uh, to just kind of organize everything and make sure that you're multiplying everything times everything. Because a lot of times when you're doing FOIL, those lines get crisscrossed, you don't remember, you forget one. The box method makes it very easy. So all you're going to do is you're just going to find the area of each of these smaller boxes. 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times negative 2i is a negative 2i. 3 times i is 3i. And negative 2i times i is going to be a negative 2 i squared. I yeah. All right. Now what we notice is these two are like terms, so we can combine them to give us 1i. And then i squared, if you remember, if i gives us the square root of negative 1, i squared is going to give us negative 1. Because what I'll do is I'll square both sides, and the square and the square root cancel out. Mm -hmm. So i squared equals negative 1. So therefore, this is really a positive 2. So when I write out my answer, let's actually just write it all the way out. Plus 3i minus 2i minus 2, and I'll just write, um, I'll just write i squared. All right, this now becomes negative 1. I can combine these, so 3 plus i minus 2 times negative 1. Well, obviously, the negative 1 and the negative 2 is going to be a positive 2. 2 plus 3 is 5, so it's 5 plus i is your final answer. Okay. So this is how to multiply binomials by using the box method. Mm. Hey, box method. So much fun.